Retrieving values from a map is usually pretty simple, and you've seen this probably in other lessons. You can retrieve the value via the get method, which you could just say ny here, or this will return you your result, as we can see here, or you can actually go ahead and use the indexing operator to return the value. Now, there are a bunch of other things you can do because the map inside, a mutable map inside of Kotlin is inside of the collections library. And so there's a bunch of different types of collections. Uh, and the map is one of the most common that you're going to end up using. Now there's a bunch of different utilities that you can use on a map, just like for list and arrays and other common collection data types. So if we say items dot, the best recommendation I can give to you is to start looking around at all the different things it can do. Now, one of the things that I am really happy about is actually the any method. And the any method basically says, hey, if there's any method, any items inside of this list. And this is very useful, especially in common, you know, expressions where you're checking to see if there's anything in there. And so if you would like to see if there's any items in the map, then do something. So you want to do X, Y, or Z. Otherwise, maybe you want to prompt the user to add some values because they can't continue. So any is a quick way to check if there's anything in there. Now there's other things in there as well, which kind of is the opposite of that, which is none. Basically it says returns true if the map has no entries. So is there nothing in there? Okay, cool. Then uh, at that point, it's kind of the opposite of any. So this would then operate if there are no entries and this operates if there, there are entries. So these are very useful little operators on side of the, the map. This is also very common stuff that you're gonna see inside of lists of stuff as well. Now, if you also would like to return values outside of a map, again, the most common way is going to be using the items.get or get or default or get or put, get, get or else, get values. You can actually uh, iterate over the values themselves. You can also check to see if it contains a particular key. So does it contain the key and E for Nebraska? Uh, this will return true because we do have the key Nebraska in, inside of here. Now, one of the things you have to be aware of is when you're using the common methods inside of here is you may want to say, hey, I want to filter a particular value. So let's say val result equals filter. And I want to say item dot key equals ny. Now you may think, well, that's going to give me back my value. Well, that's cor incorrect. You're actually going to get back a map. And we can see this simply through the, you know, the code help inside of IntelliJ, but let's just go ahead and print that out to see what that looks like. And when we look at the output, we're going to see that we actually get back an actual map. And we can see this a little bit further if we actually just filter this just by saying contains uh, let's go with the letter N and we'll go ahead and get rid of this NY here. And what this is going to do is actually filter the map and give us a, a, a new map back that only has any of the items in the map where the key contains a letter N. So we have New York, New Jersey, New Mexico, Nevada, Minnesota, and Nebraska. If we were to change this to the letter F, of course, we're only going to get back Florida because as we see down here, because Florida is the only one that has any of the keys with the letter F inside of it. Now, that's kind of a very common, you know, uh, filter method you're used to seeing, but you can also use filter keys. And what that will do is uh, remove the requirement for you to type keys because it is the key right now. So now it is the key. This will run the same exact thing and it'll filter out the keys. And of course, if we just the letter N, you can see that here. So we can say filter keys. So you can start, start filtering based upon the keys. If you only want to filter the values, you can say filter values, same thing. Does it contain the letter N? And it's only going to be a capital N, by the way. And so we're going to see back, we do have New Mexico, New Jersey, blah, blah, blah. If we wanted it to be lowercase, then we would kind of get all of our values that have a letter N, which might be additional ones like Minnesota and California and so forth that are all going to be inside included inside of there. So there are different ways that you can, you can work with these things. And of course these are, you know, basically collection operations. So if we wanted to filter those values and then I wanted to provide a, a map over it and I wanted to do something to that map. And again, this is going to be a transform function that's applied to this. I could say, uh, at this point, I want to take the first three letters of the the value 
and I just want to go ahead and, and map that value and give me the value. So if we did this, and then we did the substring of it, and we said, all right, I want to take the first three letters, what would that look like? You may think, all right, am I going to get a map back? No, you're actually going to get a string because this is we're just actually taking the value here. So you can take a look at all of the different things. So we can say, perhaps, filter keys, filter not to, we could say map keys. So there's different things you can do inside here. So you can map the keys, you can map the values. So if we take a look at this, it's going to be it dot value. And then what we're going to do here is we can say substring zero comma three. And if we run this, what we're going to see back is now we have still have our map intact because we're using map values instead of the map. So previously, again, when we, let's go ahead and, and comment this out just to see the difference here. We use map and then we say it dot value dot substring. And we said, all right, we're gonna take zero to three. And when we ran this, we just got back a list of strings that contain the first three letters of all the states. And the reason for that is the map is just is mapping, hey, this is a transform function applying applied to the map entry which is basically each entry inside of a mutable map is called a map entry. And the map entry is a string. As we can see here, it's a string and a string. So the key is a string, the value is a string. And I'm just saying, hey, I wanna take the value and I wanna, and whatever is returned from this is what's going to be returned from the map. So it's gonna be the first three letters of the value and it'll be shoved back in there. And now if we kind of switch this around and comment this out, there we go, and we run this. Now, of course, what the map values is gonna do is gonna say, hey, well, let's go ahead and take the values uh, and allow you to transform something uh, on, the, on the value itself. So it returns a new map, as we see from the documentation, with entries having the keys of this map and the values obtained by applying the transform function. So, in short, what that allows you to do is transform the values but maintain your map structure. Uh, you can do the same thing with things like uh, map.keys, uh, you could, you know, do some type of transform function inside of here. We might want to say map.value. Uh, we'd say map.key. Uh, let's say, let's make it all lowercase to lowercase. And now, if we were to run this, we'll see that the result that we get back is now we have all of our keys have now been turned into lowercase, but we still maintain our map structure and our map data. So. Anytime you are working with a map and you want to kind of transform the data, iterate over it, you'll want to go ahead and take a look at some of the various different map operators. So you can do flat maps and, and regular maps and map not nulls and so forth like that, which are very useful. But this is one way that you can find and filter values other than using the traditional get and put methods inside of the immutable map and maps themselves.